question we're often asked is, why do you get a different coloured hue on some of your full spectrum cameras and camcorders? A lot of times you'll usually see this pinkish coloured hue. Um, and then what you'll see, if we use a white balance feature, you'll see it vary from blues to purples. So basically the camera's trying to balance a white automatically. So it's taking a reading and thinking, assuming what is white, and it's trying to correct the colours to suit. Once your camera's been converted, it makes life a little bit tricky for the camera because it's also yielding a little bit of ultraviolet light. Uh, it tends not to be a great deal because the glass in lenses tend to strain a lot of that out and it's obviously infra uh, yielding a lot of infrared which uh, has got a high red content hence the hues that you start to see. So right, if you want to get around that and try and have a more balanced look to your footage, um, we've got the preset manual. So this, this is basically the custom white balance setting. So it's not a preset, it'll actually take a, a reading. So if we go into that mode, you'll see that you get to take a measurement and um, we've already taken it. So what you'll see then is that the resulting image is a, a lot more balanced, more of a monochrome, greeny type colour, which um, is quite more appealing in my opinion, but some people do like the green and blues and the pink colours that you see on other full spectrum converted cameras. So if that's the kind of, kind of appearance that you're looking for, it's a simple process, all good advanced camcorders have that setting. A lot of the cheaper style action cams unfortunately don't come with a custom white balance feature. So you'll therefore be just be stuck with the pink and purplish tones. And I think it's a good sign, uh, they're a good quality camcorder or camera when you're picking up the monochrome images. So it's all, all down to personal choice at the end of the day. If you need any help setting up your camera or you've got any questions about your camera, drop your comments in the box below. Obviously don't forget to like and subscribe and share the channel. Thanks.